Neanderthal rock art from 57,000 years ago years. A team of scientists conducted an analysis of examples of rock art found in the French La Roche Cotard cave. According to researchers, these works were created at least 57,000 years ago. Years ago and were not created by modern humans but by Neanderthals indicating that our closest cousins shared our creativity and desire for self-expression. Dots, dashes and wavy lines carved on the walls of a cave in La Roche Cotard in the Loire Valley in France are the oldest examples of Neanderthal art. New analyzes of non-figurative signs decorating the walls of the cave show that they were created at least 57,000 years ago. Years ago, long before modern humans arrived in the region. The cave was discovered in 1846, when during excavations on the banks of the Loire, a previously buried entrance to the cave was discovered. The first excavations were carried out in 1912 and excavated animal bones and Neanderthal stone tools. However, more comprehensive work carried out in the 1970s and since 2008 revealed the true size of the cave. There are four main chambers, at least the first of which was inhabited by Neanderthals. Traces of their presence were also found in front of the entrance to the cave, where bones and tools were also found. The results of the new analyzers have been published in the journal, PLOS One. Research in recent decades has revealed much about the cultural complexity of the Neanderthals. However, relatively little is known about their art and artistic expressions. Our extinct cousins are considered rather untalented individuals who lacked cognitive abilities and most of the important discoveries of those times are attributed to modern man. But this may not be true. Evidence for this was presented in recent studies by scientists from the University of Tübingen and the State Museum of Prehistory in Germany and the University of Strasbourg in France. They showed that the Neanderthals were quite good at, for example, producing birch tar. And it was around 100,000 years before modern humans mastered these techniques. Now. Studies of the gouges in the La Roche Cotard cave have shown that the non-figurative markings and carvings on the walls of the cave are the oldest examples of Neanderthal art known. Scientists conducted an analysis of ancient works using photogrammetry. In this way, three-dimensional models of rock art of our cousins were created. They were compared with examples of similar art, but made by a modern man. Based on the shapes, spacing and placement of the grooves, the team concluded that they were intentional and orderly shapes made on purpose. Optically stimulated luminescence dating of sediments on the cave walls was also carried out. This study showed that the entrance to the cave was blocked for about 57,000 years. Years ago, long before Homo sapiens settled in the region, this, combined with the fact that tools made in the manner associated with Neanderthals were found in the cave, is a strong proof that the art on the walls of the cave is the work of the Neanderthals. The art on the walls of the cave are non-figurative symbols and scientists are not sure what exactly they represent. The patterns have been grouped into eight separate panels. One has curved lines that meet at one point. Others have dozens of dots, parallel stripes, and a fan-like pattern. Analyzing the works from the walls of the cave, the scholars acknowledged that these designs are graphic rather than functional, representing organized, thoughtful composition, guided by conscious design and intention. Researchers believe that this art was created with the help of fingers imprinting a pattern on the soft sediment of the cave wall. They also add that it could have been created much earlier. Scientists have determined that the cave was cut off from the world around 57,000 years ago. 
years ago. But the rock art itself may be older, but more research is needed to determine this. These works are of a similar age to the rock art created by Homo sapiens in other parts of the world. This adds to the growing evidence that the behaviors and actions of Neanderthals were as complex and diverse as the behaviors and actions of modern humans. The Mysterious Journey of a Herd of Elephants Through China Last year, a herd of Indian elephants went on a long journey. The animals have since walked about 500 kilometers from their home in the forests of southwestern China. No one knows why the elephants decided to go on a journey, or when it will end. The journey started in March 2020. The herd of 15 individuals set off from Shishuangbanadai Prefecture, located in Yunnan Province, near the border of China, Laos and Myanmar. Since then, wild elephants have marched 500 kilometers north of their natural habitats. There are about 300 wild elephants in southwest China. However, a similar migration of such a large herd has never been observed before. On June 9, the elephants were spotted taking a short rest just outside Yuxi City. During the journey, one male separated from the rest and is now alone, 12 kilometers from his kin with whom he set out. According to scientists in China, such an event has never happened before. Experts speculate that the reason for the migration may have been the search for food and new habitats. However, other researchers believe that the herd simply got lost. Individuals don't know where they're going. They're just looking for relatively open areas that will provide them with food, says Becky Xu Chen, an elephant expert at the Zoological Society of London. Elephants have won the hearts of many people, especially since their journey is widely reported on social media. On the other hand, not everyone welcomed the animals with joy. The individuals were destroying agricultural fields. The herd also, broke, into a liquor factory, which is said to have caused one male to get drunk, tired, and left behind, so he's now on his own. According to China's Xinhua News Agency, the herd wrought a total of 412 cases of havoc damaging 56 hectares of farmland and causing more than $1 million in damage. Chinese authorities have invested considerable resources in tracking the migration of the herd. In total, it is monitored by 510 people, 14 drones and 110 vehicles. If necessary, roads are closed and elephants are directed to undeveloped areas. Authorities are concerned that elephants may be aggressive towards humans. Many innovative solutions have been used to attract animals away from cities. For example, last week, the services left corn, pineapples and other delicacies on the route followed by wild elephants. Thanks to this, it was possible to lure the herd deep into the forest, away from human habitations. The event attracted the attention of thousands of internet users. A handful of influencers, seeking fame on social media, even went to the site and collected the remains left by the elephants. Indian elephants are considered an endangered species and are under strict protection in China. The population of these animals lives mainly in the southwestern part of Yunnan province which borders Vietnam, Laos and Myanmar. In the 1980s, the number of individuals was drastically reduced. However, thanks to the efforts of the authorities and nature conservationists, it was possible to rebuild their numbers to about 300 individuals. Experts warn that the species is still threatened with extinction. The example of the mysterious migration of the herd shows that the infrastructure created by humans encroaches on the natural habitats of elephants and forces them to search for new territories.